Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. It is the 30th anniversary of Photoshop. whoop de doo And to celebrate, Adobe has released a new version of Photoshop 21.1.0. In this video, we're going to talk about what is new and significant in this release. There's nothing new in this release. What they did is they enhanced a couple features that were already there. One feature is content aware fill. What they did is they allowed you to remove multiple things without having to go back in and out of the content aware dialog box. Let me demonstrate. I have this image here of the bird and there's a couple branches sticking in here that I don't want. So I want to remove those. So I'm going to duplicate the background. I'm going to hit Command J on my Mac. It's Control J if you have a PC. We're going to get the lasso tool and we're just going to draw a quick selection around this branch right here. All right, I have that selected. Now I'm going to go to the Content Aware Fill tool. That's under Edit and it's Content Aware Fill. And when we do that, the Content Aware Fill dialog box opens up and Automatically, I'm in auto mode over here on the right, and you can see automatically um, Photoshop selected a bunch of pixels that it's going to sample to remove that branch. Now, I really don't like the sample it did. It's sampling part of the bird, and it's sampling this branch. So what I'm going to do is change the selection. I'm going to open up this little brush here, and you can see by default it's a minus brush, and I'm going to remove it. So wherever that green is that I don't want, I'll just erase it basically. So we'll erase it around, around the bird mainly, all right? Okay. All right, so now we'll let it render over here in the preview and you could see that it removed that branch. Now what is new and different about the content aware uh, dialog box is it now has an apply button. In the past you would hit click okay. It would close down, go back into regular Photoshop. You'd have to lasso the other thing you wanna remove Go back into Content Aware Fill. Now you just could click Apply. It doesn't then leave the dialog box. And then you could come over here and you could, let's say, use the Lasso tool and get rid of this little branch down here in the lower right hand corner and see where it's sampling. And that looks pretty good. So you, then you could click Apply. And then let's say you don't like this little, like, whatever blur right there. Circle that. And let it render, see what it looks like over there. It's really not removing it in this case. Let's just click apply anyway. And then let's come in here and like maybe do it bigger like that. And a eh, little better, let's say. Okay, let's say you're finally done and you click okay. So that is really the one enhancement they did is they've um, made it so that you could do multiple removals without leaving the content aware fill dialog box. Now to get rid of these marching ants, hit Command D on a Mac for deselect, Control D on a PC. Now the other thing they've done is they've enhanced lens blur. In the past, lens blur used the CPU to create the lens blur. Now it uses the GPU and it has some new algorithms that actually improve the lens blur, they improve the look of it, make it look more realistic. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a computer with the previous version of Photoshop on it, so I could show you a comparison of how lens blur looked, looked with the old version and how lens blur might look with the new version. So I'll just show you lens blur in case you're not familiar with it. I have this image here of the statue of the dragon, and I want to blur the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command-J to duplicate the background image. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Lens Blur. I'll go to Filter, Blur, Lens Blur. And it's going to blur the whole thing right now, all right? So I could come in here and I could move the radius around. Nothing's really changed here. Just the actual uh, fact that it's using the GPU instead of the CPU and it has a new algorithm that improves the look of the Lens Blur. That's really what is different. So it really operates the same way as far as the sliders are concerned. Um, so... Let's, I'm just going to again do a real quick thing here and not worry about really how it looks. 
Uh, so let's say that's good. We're going to click OK. Now, of course, it's going to return back into regular Photoshop and it's going to be all blurry, but then you'll see what I'll do to make the only the background have that lens blur and not the statue of the dragon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off that layer. I'm going to go back to the background layer, make that active, and then I want to do a selection of the dragon. So I'm going to go to the selection tool. Let's try the object selection tool. That was uh, recently released in a previous version of Photoshop. And what I'll do is I'll just draw a rectangle over the dragon and see how it does. See if it selects just the dragon. And it didn't do that great of a job. It's missing quite a bit. So we want to remove this part. So to remove a section, hold the Alt or Option key. It's Alt if you have a PC option. If you have a Mac, you see the cursor turns in a little minus sign there. Um, then go around that. So we're going to remove it from this little hole. It did a pretty good job there. But I have quite a bit down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump to the Quick Selection tool. And we'll come in and select everything that it didn't select that it should have selected. Real quick. And I'm, I'm just going to go real. I'm not going to worry about getting a perfect selection. I'm going to remove this little slice in the, in the back here. I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key in again. So I get a minus brush and remove it from there. I'm going to, let's see, remove it from here. And we'll try to get a little better around the snout of our dragon. And went a little bit too far, get a smaller brush, hit the left bracket key a couple times. And maybe try to get a little fancy. I know this is so exciting. All right, let's just say that that is an absolutely perfect selection. And let's pretend that I refine the edge as well, even though I did not refine the edge. So we have this selection. Now what we'll do is we'll turn the top layer back on and make it active by clicking on it. Now what we want need to do is invert the selection. We don't want the dragon blurry, we want the background blurry. So I selected the dragon, now I need to invert it so it's really selecting the background. So I'm gonna hit Shift Command I for invert. If you have a PC, it's Shift Control I. And you can tell it inverted because the marching ants are going around the background now. All right, so that's good. Now we just add a layer mask. So down here in the lower lower right hand corner, click on mask. And you could see that now it has the blurred background and the dragon is not blurred. There's before and there's after. Before, after. Now, of course, if I did a better selection, it would probably look better, but you get the idea that's how lens blur works and apparently they've improved it in this version of Photoshop. And really, outside of some bug fixes and performance enhancements, that's really all that was added to this release of Photoshop. So, I hope that helps you better process your images in Photoshop and I'd like to thank everyone for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>